Make him laugh, make him laugh. Don't you know everyone wants to laugh? <sighs> I'm a terrible singer. Figaro. Hello guys and welcome to Recently Seen, where we're going to talk about the slasher movie and musical Stage Fright. No, not that one. This one. That's right. A young opera star is absolutely brutally murdered on the opening night of her show Haunting of the Opera. Ten years later, her producer has taken her two children in and made them work as cooks in his performing arts summer camp. When the director of that year's show decides to do a revive of Haunting of the Opera in the form of a Japanese kabuki, the daughter of said opera star decides that she wants to make it big just like her mother and auditions for the main part, and seems to get it. However, there is also a vicious killer on the loose who really doesn't want this play to happen. Now who could this killer be? Why doesn't he want the show to happen? And why does everyone keep breaking out in song and dance? This is a funny, funny movie. The idea to combine slasher movies and musicals is a really funny one to begin with, and it really uses all the opportunities for comedy from both. Some of the kills are so over the top they're funny, a lot of the theater kids are so stereotyped that they're funny, and a lot of the songs have really, really funny music, and it really uses the, what, what do I say, hamminess of theater to really build up its jokes. Everyone is a big fucking ham. Every song is completely overblown. And a lot of the lines are so stereotypical when it gets to the actual sh slasher drama of it all, that again it becomes funny by recognition. So, as a comedy, this movie is definitely right on. As you can probably tell from my brief attempts at being funny in this video, I'm not exactly a trained singer. But I do love songs. I do love watching a good musical movie. I do like music. I can't tell you on a technical aspect whether the songs in this movie are well composed or if the singers actually know what the fuck they're doing. But to me, as a casual viewer, I thought it sounded amazing. All the songs, at least most of them, are really... It swings a lot because when you're on campus with all these kids, we have these energetic, happy crowd songs that are just really hard not to get carried along with. and. And they all have really, really funny lyrics. I mean, I already said this movie was funny, but just listen to what they're singing. But it switches theme appropriately. I mean, whenever we are actually seeing part of the show, it is something that resembles opera. And whenever we see the killer, yes, even the killer sings, he has these really, really violently aggressive rock opera numbers that it sounds like if Marilyn Manson started singing an Ozzy Osbourne song. I don't know how else to describe it. It's so screamy and it, he's so aggressive and all the while everyone has these big movements. It's, it really uses its theater roots for comedy. But it also uses very subtle little expression changes to make things funny too. So it's great all around. The cast is fucking great. I actually forgot this fact before I started the movie but Meatloaf is in it. This guy is no stranger to horror or musical or for that matter horror musical and he fits right at home. And, well, he was actually playing a type of character I don't remember seeing him play before. Well, that's not exactly right. He's, he has some shades of bad boss, and I guess he was that in Dario Argento's Pelts too, but no matter. Meatloaf is in it, he does a good job. Basically, all these kids are really talented actors and really talented comedians, and there are some side characters that have maybe four lines that damn near steal the show just by delivering that line really, really well. Our main lead can on occasion be a little boring, but that has more to do with the actual slasher story than it has with, with her as an actress. She does a fine job, she can scream, she can definitely sing, and she can, you know, pack a punch when she needs to. I already said something brief about all the characters being fun, and I really mean it. I mean, this movie mostly avoids usual slasher cliché characters. There is an alpha bitch, there is a jerk, J just, you know, a complete dick. However, they're more musical theater stereotypes than they are slasher stereotypes, which keeps things a little bit fresh. There's no jock here. Why would that be a jock? It's a performing arts camp. So really, yeah, you have, the, you have them all. 
The killer in this movie is way too fucking easy to figure out, and frankly it would have been no matter who it was. This movie offers us a lot of red herrings, and all of them are so glaringly obvious that you know it's gonna be one of them, so no matter who it picks, it's not exactly gonna be a surprise. In fact, in general, the slasher aspect of this movie is a slight bit lacking compared to the rest. This is not so bad, mind you, because the rest of it is so funny and so charming that it's kind of impossible not to love it, but if you have to look at this as a slasher movie, it does lag a bit. It has great kills. It has a great looking killer with a great personality. I mean, this is theater so that he wisecracks. It fits. It's, it's theatrical. It's it's upstage. It's, it's up played. But there's just something wrong with the actual pacing here. I mean, we have one kill in the beginning, one kill in the middle, and then a long stretch with nothing going on, and then just all goes apeshit in the end. And I get, I guess I get what they were going for, but this is much more of a musical comedy than a slasher when it comes down to it. So I think maybe all three should have bit, had a bit more equal footing. Just a bit, just a tiny bit. There's also the fact that even if I wanted more slasher action, the slasher action that is there, or at least the slasher drama, doesn't really always work. I mean, it's a really, really standard slasher story when you get down to it. Even if it does throw one slight curveball at the end. It, it does do that, and I will give it credit. That was pretty cool. However, it's just every time you hear these kids talk about their mother, and especially the brother, who is a complete dick about it, by the way. Every time you hear them talk about that, or their hard past, or I need to do this to... It's just a little too by the numbers from a movie that's otherwise so funny. So, I don't know, maybe the slasher aspect should have been touched up upon a little. Now here's the thing, if you're a musical theater geek and you're watching this, you might fear that they're going to offend you. I don't see why you would be offended at any of this. Yes, the characters are really stereotypical musical theater people. There's the flamingly gay musical theater guy. There's the asshole director. There's the complete bitch who wants the lead in everything. There are the little kids who aren't quite as good as they think. And the opening number when everyone's going to the camp, they all sing about how they're getting bullied by their fucking parents instead of at it in school. But the thing is, the music is too good for this movie to be mean-spirited about it, if you get what I mean. This is clearly done with love. And again, thanks to the theatrics, it's so, it's so overplayed that it's kind of hard to take seriously. So basically, is it making fun of musical theater? Yeah, it is. Is it mocking it? Nah, I wouldn't say it is. But if you're a bit sensitive to your love for musical theater, then you might occasionally find yourself thinking, okay, that was a cheap shot. And you know what? That's fair. Because even if you do, there's going to be something else funny and a lot of slasher stuff later. So, hey, there you go. The gore aspect of this movie is something that can definitely be debated if it's enough or if there should have been less of it, because here's the way I saw it. A kill in the beginning with a lot of gore, super cool. A kill in the middle that's so vicious and so creative that was just fucking awesome. And then a long stretch of nothing, and at the end, when, when the slasher aspect really goes nuts, it gets strange because there are a lot of kills that it suddenly cuts away from or aren't as brutal as before or happen off screen, and it, it just feels strange because when you see the trailer, it's constantly showing someone soaked in blood, and it's really playing up this we're going to be just as ridiculous with the music as we are with the gore. And I don't think they did. I think I think you actually saw a lot of the real good stuff in the trailer, and that's, that's a shame. I, I think maybe it would have, again, if you played up the slasher aspect a little more, that it would have benefited from a bit more gore in, this, in the second half, but hey. All in all, Stage Fright is a really fucking funny time. It does depend a little on what you're looking for. If you're looking for some hardcore slasher action, eh, it's alright. But if you're looking for a really funny horror comedy and for some fun music to go along with, then you're definitely in the right spot. I went in there because I was expecting something fun and something special and something unique. It definitely is unique. I mean, horror musicals have happened before. There's the Little Shop of Horrors, there's Rock and Roll Picture Show, there's Repo the Genetic Opera. There are plenty of those. That's not what I'm talking about. This is a horror musical that makes fun of itself for both aspects, and it's just really well put together, so 
if you're going in for a fun time, perfect movie. If you're just there for the gore of the slasher movies, there are probably better things you could see. But Stage Fright comes highly recommended from me. I loved it. I thought it was a blast. So that's basically my thoughts on Stage Fright. So I think I'm gonna go watch another musical right now. I'm just in a singing mood. So um, yeah, I guess. See you guys. I've got a song to sing. If you don't like my song, I'm gonna sing it anyhow. Bum, bum, bum.